Hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel. There are few bottles when you stumble upon them you have very high hopes. But then when you play around with them, use them, you really wonder whether the model is bad or you are too dumb to understand it. That is what I am going through at the moment with this illustrious model Excel, which is rating quite high at hugging face. But if you have been following my channel, I just did a video on illustrious where we installed it locally and then we tried it out with various prompts to generate enemy with text prompt using diff users library through the code. But the results were really not that good enough. So I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. So in this video, I'm going to use it with Comfy UI, which is the most popular, most advanced UI with a lot, lot of refinements and other stuff. And we will try to see if we get a better result when it comes to enemy through Comfy UI. It is mostly an experimental video where I am hoping that not only we would be able to get more out of this model locally, but also we will learn something about Comfy UI, about this table diffusion and maybe about enemy. If you don't know what enemy is, enemy is a Japanese animated television shows and films and a lot of other things. It is huge, quite big, especially in Japan, in Asia, but also in various parts of the world now. These could be hand-drawn or computer-generated images, as you can see on your screen. These are few of the enemy images generated with the help of this illustrious model, which they have posted. I was hoping to generate the same thing with locally, but so far I'm unable to do so. Anyway, but we will also see shortly if Comfy UI is able to um, work any better anyway and there are a lot of terms i mean enemy is a total separate world where you, you have mangas manga is a japanese co um, comic books we have vocaloids which are digital singers with synthesized voices and then we have hatsune miku which is i believe the most or one of the most popular vocaloid and then there are a lot of other terms which you can go in and check out I'm not really much expert in uh, enemy. So if you are, please share your knowledge with us in the comments. That would be highly appreciated. Okay. So, but I'm not going to dwell much on enemy at the moment. I am more interested in using this model. So this uh, model is a stable diffusion model. Stable diffusion is really groundbreaking. It has brought so many things to the field of image generation over the course of last one to two years st so which is uh, called as st in short and then we have stxl which was trained with stxl architecture with a dual clip text encoder based on large scale data set so stxl sort of is a next version of stable diffusion where not only we have the base model but we also have a refiner model and there are a lot of other things and i have a separate video where i'll where you can check out the difference between st and stxl Anyway, so this model is a state-of-the-art enemy generation model which is called as illustrious and it has surpassed various models in various aspects as per their Hugging Face model card and their technical report which you can access from their Hugging Face page which I will drop the link in video's description. So far, I am unable to reproduce it. Anyway, so before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so I already have this Comfy UI enabled and you see that I have already been experimenting and I will, don't worry, I'm going to describe what is happening here. By the way, if you don't know what Comfy UI is, I will request you to go to my channel just search with Comfy UI and make sure to watch this video easiest tutorial on Comfy UI. This is the only tutorial you need on internet to uh, install Comfy UI and to get comfortable with it. So watch this and then come back if you're following along and then we will proceed further. So I already have Comfy UI installed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this model illustrious is a stable diffusion Excel model or STXL model. So it means that we need two models. 
what it means is we need a base model which is this model illustrious excel for that you would need to go to files and versions scroll down so i have downloaded both of them this one is excel v01 is just a base model guided one seems to be a fine-tuned one or it has a better performance so i have downloaded both of them and to download just click on it and then click on this download button to download it once you download it you need to download it in this comfy ui so go to comfy ui <coughs> directory on your local system so i have here go to models go to checkpoints make sure that you save both of these files here and they are around 7 gig each, so make sure you have that much space on your system so i have saved both of these files on my system now as i mentioned it's a, it's a stable diffusion excel model stxl so not only we need these base models we also need a refiner model which refines the image in the next step so for that i am going to use this stable diffusion excel refiner model i have downloaded it in the same checkpoint directory as you can uh, see here this one so we have these three models we need and then what i have done is just to make sure that uh, i also upscaled this image to enhance its performance i have just gone to cvti and downloaded this super nmkd super scale model which is a very good upscaler and also downloaded it so one and you need to download it in uh, models and then upscale underscore models directory i already have put it here so i have also have my upscale model it by dodge format which i have downloaded now let's go back to comfy ui and then let me actually maybe i'll clear the screen here so i have cleared this screen now click on load and then just load this json file now this json file is a typical stxl format you see so you don't have to create it all you need to do is to you can either go to com, uh, cvti and download and just search for any stxl comfy ui uh, workflow or just use this one i have used this one i normally uh, always use this one this is quite good this is my sort of go-to workflow which i use so i don't have to create it from scratch once you load it let's go to left because this is from where the, it starts so <clears throat> And one thing I forgot to mention, we also need a VAE model. So this is basically a variational autoencoder. So what happens is that whenever it encodes and decodes, so normally the images are generated into the latent space, but they can't be visible. In order to convert it into pixelated visible format, we need these variational autoencoders. So if you go back to this model and then just go to files and versions again, in the illustrious one you will see there is a folder called as vae so just load this save tensor file which i already have done so okay so that is done now let's go back to comfy ui click on this drop down and then you see the diffusion pytorch i have just selected it and then in the base model let's click here and then i'm just going to go with the guided one here so let's keep negative positive prompts for now as is and then refiner this is the refiner if you remember this is a refiner for the stxl i have loaded and then you can just keep the case sampler for refiner case sampler as is because these are the ones uh, these are the ones which actually generate the image let's keep everything else as is let's go here because we also need to set the upscaler model then we have selected this nmkd and that is done so this is all we needed to do in terms of this let me make it a bit smaller so that it will fit in okay that is good so it is going to generate two images one will be with refiner and without refiner so let me now give it some enemy prompt which i have been trying from their technical paper so that because i just wanted to make sure i'm doing whatever they are doing now I'm sure you can't read it but let me make it a bit bigger so then I'll make it smaller so it is saying two girls auto knows Kanade Hatsune Miku side by side masterpiece now don't ask me what exactly this means this is the enemy lingo 
So Hetsun Miku is a vocaloid which I mentioned earlier and rest is something like that. So let's see what it generates here. I'm just going to click on Q prompt. You see that case sampler is working and it has created this. Okay, this is much better. Okay, best enemy it has generated so far. Maybe it is due to your. Okay, so you see a result with refiner is not good. But result without definer <clears throat> seems pretty good to me, which is quite interesting. I'm very surprised. We can even omit the refiner here. So this one is good, guys. I mean, I can't believe it happened. That is good. Okay, so this one is really good. I really want to stop here, but let's try out a few more from, again, from their technical paper. I'm not writing it by myself. So this is a positive prompt and in the negative prompt, I'll actually make it a bit bigger so that we could all read. So it's a multiple girls, two girls, Nozomi, uh, Hikari Blue, uh, year 2023 and all that stuff, just all enemy lingo. And then uh, negative prompts are, maybe I'll just remove, you see, it actually, maybe I'll just remove this. It's a blurry logo, watermark, signature, cropped, out of frame, worst quality, low quality, JPEG, poorly lit, overexposed, underexposed. So maybe I'll also remove this one. <clears throat> Let's keep it as liberal as possible. And then let me run it. Let's see what happens now. So it is quite NSFW, so make sure that you know what is happening. Let's wait for it. Because this time you see it is just quite... Uh, not there let's see what refiner does yeah so refiner has tried to make out some uh, <clears throat> sort of image from there but not much okay so this one is not good let's try out another one in this one i'm asking it one girl hudson miku angel masterpiece general let's try let's wait for it yeah again not good you see without as soon as i have removed negative prompt it has gone down so maybe i'll just put my negative prompt back i'm just saying um control z in that one let's do q prompt let's wait for it and there you go you see much much better so what i have done here is i have just removed some of the parts from my negative prompt but i have kept it like this i'm just going to make it a bit bigger so i've just removed few of the stuff but looks good now you just have to play around with it so you know what i think now this is much much better stuff so let's try out another one the one previously we ran with two girls and it didn't work so let's try it out so let's do the q prompt let's wait for it yep so does that look too good to me nope let's try out again yeah so your refiner has tried to made out some sort of stuff but not much okay so that is fine let's try another one from their technical report and look this is just uh, as i mentioned an experimental video so i hope that i'm not boring you it's just showing you a few of the stuff like how you play around with it it is you can't get it right in first attempt hardly you see this one is much better so if i just go up it says again one girl hatsun miku which is a tortoise here an illustration of a girl with long white hair and wings she is wearing a school uniform with a red bow on her head and a pair of headphones in her ears so much much better i would say so let me move it here yep quite good quite good so the final is doing its job nice that is cool and there are various other prompts which you can check out but i think uh, as i mentioned in my previous video that <clears throat> maybe if you are using with the diff users it might not work but if you really want to see it in action you would need to use it with comfy ui i don't think so even you would be able to get this sort of flexibility and uh, i would say output with automatic 11 11 or any other web ui comfy ui is the way to go 
so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it and uh, <clears throat> i think pretty good in terms of uh, at last we were able to get something out of it as usual if you like the content please do me a favor and share it among your network also before i go let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query so you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing query in real time on any web page i will also drop the link to them in video's description so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and thanks for all the support